the entrance out on. Sing praise to our God, all, all you who fear God, both small and great. For now salvation and strength have come, and the power of his Christ. Alleluia. Let us pray in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And this month we continue to pray for the victims of the coronavirus. And brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to hear the contrite of heart. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. You came to call sinners, Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. Grant Almighty and merciful God that we may in truth receive a share in the resurrection of Christ your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. The crowd and Philippe joined an attack on Saul and Paul and Silas, and the magistrates had them stripped, and ordered them to be beaten with rods. After inflicting many blows on them, they threw them into prison, and instructed their guard to, guard to, to guard them securely. When he received these instructions, he put them into the innermost cell and secure their feet to stay, to a state. About midnight, Paul and Silas were praying and singing hymns to God as the prisoners listened. Then all of a sudden, such a severe earthquake that the foundations of the jail shook. All the doors flew open and, and the chains were all pulled loose. When the jailers woke up and saw the prison doors open, doors wide open, he threw his sword and was about to kill himself, thinking that the prisoners had escaped. But Paul shouted in a loud voice, Do no harm to yourself, we are all here. He asked for a light and rushed in, and trembling with fear, he fell down before Paul and Silas. Then he brought them out and said, Sirs, what must I do to be saved? They said, Believe in the Lord Jesus, and you and your household will be saved. So they spoke the word of the Lord to him and to everyone in his house. He took them, took them in at the hour of, of the night and bathed their wounds. And then he and all his families were baptized at once. He brought them in, up into his house and provided a meal. And with his household rejoicing, at the coming to the faith of God. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to you. God. The responsorial psalm. Your right hand saves me, O Lord. Your right hand saves me, O Lord. I will give thanks to you, O Lord, with all my heart, for you have heard the word of my mouth. In the presence of angels, I will sing your praise I will worship at your holy temple and give thanks to your name. Your right hand saves me, Lord. Because of your kindness and your truth, you have made great above all things your name and your promise. When I called, you answered me. You built up strength within me. Your right hand saves me, O Lord. Your right hand saves me, the Lord will complete what he has done for me. Your kindness, O Lord, endures forever. Forsake not the works of your hand. Your, your right, right hand, hand saves me, O Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. I will send to you the spirit of truth, says the Lord. He will guide you to all truth. Alleluia, alleluia. 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 
The Lord be with you. And, and with, with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory, Glory to you, Lord. Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Now I am going to the one who sent me, and not one of you asked me, Where are you going? Be but because I told you this, grief has filled your hearts. But, have, but I tell you the truth. It is better for you that I go. For if I do not go, the Advocate will not come to you. But if I go, I will send him to you. And when he comes, he will convict the world in regard to sin and righteousness and condemnation. Sin, because they do not believe in me. Righteousness, because I am going to the Father and you will no longer see me. Condemnation, because the ruler of this world has been condemned. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Christ. Perhaps we are struggling with the word of Jesus today when he said that our goal is better for him. All of his disciples said, no, Master, we, we want to stay with you. And if I were there, you were there, say, Lord, don't go. Don't go, just stay with us. Stay with me. But this is it. It's better if I go. And he meant it. And he said that if I don't go, the, para, the paraclete, the advocate, will not come. When Jesus went, wherever he go, his disciples followed him. Since he was the leader. It's easy to understand. But Jesus wanted each of them to be a leader. The twelve become bishops. And therefore Jesus must leave them so that they become the leader. They put it this way. If a girl keeps staying with her mom for her her mom's young wee fool. She would never learn how to cook. She just rely on her mom. But when she gets married, her mom, away from her, she has, she has no other option to cook. Of course, at the first, as, as the first couple of months, look like the food is tasteless. It's all so salty. Oh, this is a little weird. But day by day, she tries without her mom. Then what happened? She can call the Holy Spirit. No, I mean, she call her mom. And her mom said, oh, you better put a little ginger in there. A little of spicy in there, some such. That is a kind of Holy Spirit to help her to know a little more. And, and she put more effort and gradually she become expert in preparing the good meal and even better than her mom. The absence of her mom does not mean that her mom doesn't love her. No. But even more through her instruction, through her spirit, that guide her and guide the disciples and guide each of us. Jesus must leave the disciples so that they could grow and be stronger ever since. And Jesus does the same thing to each of us. Jesus did not leave them or any of us often. The Holy Spirit comes 
right after Jesus' departure to help them and us and journey with them and each of us. No other gift could be greater than the gift of the Holy Spirit that Jesus asked the Father to give to his disciples. And we are his disciples. You and I are also receiving that precious gift. The question is, how do you use that precious gift from God? Let us pray. We pray for the church to continue to grow in faith, in love, and in hope. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for the leaders of the world to open their mind to learn the truth of God. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for the victims of the pandemic. For those who pass away before us and for those who are testing positive. And for those who are living in fear. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And your own prayer. Let us pray, dearly beloved, for a switch end to the coronavirus pandemic that afflicts our world, that our God and Father will heal the sick, strengthen those who care for them, and help us all to persevere in faith. Almighty and merciful God, source of all life, Health, health and healing, healing. look with, with the compassion, compassion on our world, brought low by disease, protect, protect us in the midst of the great challenges that assail us. And in your fatherly providence, grant recovery to the stricken, strength to those, those who care for them, them and, and success the, to those working to eradicate the scourge. Through Christ, Christ our God. Lord, amen. Yeah. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all his holy church. Grant, we pray, O Lord, that we may always find delight in these Paschal mysteries, so that the renewal constantly at work within us may be the cause of our unending joy. To Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is fully right and just our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord. But in this time above all, to Lord you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For he is the true Lamb who has taken away the sins of the world. By dying, he has destroyed our death, and by rising, restored our life. Therefore, overcome with Paschal joy, 
every land, every people exalts in your praise. And even the heavenly powers with the angelic courts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the Father of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, this heat we pray by sending down your spirit upon them, Dr. Luke 4, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and gave him thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this of you and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this of you and drink from it, for this is a chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which we pour out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember our brothers and sisters, who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, our glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from our distress, as we await the blessed hope of the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. And graciously grant her peace and unity in us with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us share with each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. The 
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, roof but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. The communion now to Fong. The, the Christ had suffered and has risen from the dead, and so it entered into glory. Alleluia. The prayer for spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe you are really here in the sacrament. I love you more than anything in the world and hunger to receive you. But since I cannot receive communion at this moment, feed my soul at least spiritually. I unite myself to you now, as I do when I actually receive you. Amen. Let us pray. Hear, O Lord, our prayers, that this most holy exchange by which you have redeemed us may bring your help in this present life and ensure for us eternal gladness through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Let us pray together with a prayer to the Holy Person of your Father who Holy Virgin of Guadalupe, Queen of the Angels and the Mother of the Americas, we fly to you today as your beloved children. We ask you to intercede for us with your Son, as you did at the wedding in Cana. Pray for us, loving Mother, and gain for our nation and world, and for all our families and loved ones, the protection of your holy angels, that we may be spared the worst of this illness. For those already afflicted, we ask you to obtain the grace of healing and deliverance. Hear the cries of those who are vulnerable and fearful. Wipe away their tears and help them to trust. In this time of trial and testing, teach all of us in the church to love one another and to be patient and kind. Help us to bring the peace of Jesus to our land and to our hearts. We come with you with confidence, knowing that you are truly our compassionate mother. Health and sick and cause of our joy. Shelter us under the mantle of your protection. Keep us in the embrace of your arms. Help us always to know the love of your son, Jesus. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you all in the name of the Father, of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Alleluia, alleluia. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Alleluia, alleluia. alleluia.